water. Probably one of those things we don't think about too often. But how does this clean, safe water get to our homes, schools, and fire hydrants without us thinking about it? It involves more work than you'd imagine. And it starts in the San Gabriel Mountains. Nature provides us with the key elements of water filtration. Rain falls, and it filters through layers of porous rock. It then percolates down into an aquifer, which is an underground lake, or it trickles down into a stream. Now, this water coming to us without the benefits of modern treatment isn't always safe to use. So it's essential to our good health and well-being that all natural and man-made pollutants either be removed or reduced to safe levels. Founded in 1956, the Harupa Community Services District has been providing this service to an ever-growing community. Our powerful pumps bring the untreated water from these wells. And upon leaving these wells, disinfectants are injected to kill various bacteria. The water is transferred in giant pipes to treatment plants, such as the Tea Garden Treatment Facility, to be cleaned. After processing, the water is delivered into any one of 17 closed storage tanks called reservoirs, like our 12 million gallon Sunny Slope Reservoir, giving this community a total capacity of 58 million gallons of clean, fresh water. Now we gotta get that water from these giant reservoirs into the thousands of homes and businesses throughout the two incorporated cities of Eastvale in the west and Harupa Valley in the east. And for that, we rely on good old fashioned gravity. Our reservoirs are positioned on top of mountains so water can flow downhill. As the water comes down the mountains through pipes, into lower elevations, the water pressure will increase. This is why we have what we call pressure zones. To move that much water into a community requires a complex system of pipes capable of moving tens of thousands of gallons of water. Sophisticated computerized electronics called SCADA controls keep that process automated to assure that water is always clean and flowing. As the water travels to your homes, we continually test and monitor it to assure it meets all federal and state drinking water regulations. Once the water is used, it has to be carried away from your home in different pipes, called sewer pipes. Sewer pipes are kept separate from the water supply pipes to prevent contamination of the water system. State-of-the-art equipment, such as this robotic camera, is used to regularly inspect and maintain these pipes. JCSD Vector Trucks, valued at hundreds of thousands of dollars, are mobilized not just to maintain, but also to clear debris from trouble spots. The flow of sewage through most pipes uses gravity to move the wastewater to a collection point like this one, where lift stations pump the sewage to higher levels for delivery to a treatment facility. Lift stations require regular inspection, monitoring, and maintenance as well. JCSD delivers the sewage to any of three large regional sewage treatment plants where it is cleaned and treated. So always remember not to dump fats, greases, and oils down the drain because they can damage these cleaning processes. These treatment plants utilize environmentally responsible green energy sources such as solar power, natural gas, and biofuel. From here, the water is returned to the groundwater basins and the cycle begins again. Natural disasters also present challenges that we must prepare for. Fire is sometimes a tragic part of our lives. To minimize the damage done by fire, hydrants have to be maintained. If firefighters hook up a hose to a hydrant and little or nothing comes out, the resulting damage could be devastating to you and your community. So when you see JCSD workers opening up fire hydrants and letting water flow, you know we're ensuring your health and safety in case of an emergency. Our buildings, pumps, and reservoirs are all required to be built with earthquake-resistive construction. And what if there is a natural disaster? How important does a clean water supply become? The answer to that question? Vitally important. In the case of a disaster, with no power, the water will still flow by gravity to your homes, schools, and fire hydrants. Emergency backup generators are always maintained and are standing by as well to minimize any disruption in service when you need it most. Even under the best of circumstances, continued population growth requires us to meet that demand. Our team of engineers makes certain that as your community needs to grow, we can meet those needs. From obtaining, treating, and delivering water and waste, to providing for emergency contingencies and continued community growth, the men and women at JCSD work hard every day to make sure that you and your family can drink clean, safe water. <laughs>